There has been an increase in policy responsibility to, to engage communities and so it's an opportunity to make that mean that resources can be put towards those means but it has to be you know more than, than more than a bureaucratic exercise yeah. to get the groups on board is almost solely down to the workers they're the, they're the, the gatekeepers between the information and the organization of what what I was doing I've been working with the young people for over a year um, and when I first met them they wouldn't even write their name on a bit of paper. So we kind of met up with the group off the, obviously the information that we had and just gave them an idea. Says to them, go home, see what you think, maybe come back with Sahan and they came back with six pages, all done by themselves. Once the information's on that, you know, in, in, the, in the hands of the young people then it's, then it's, then it's up to them. Um, some of you have met before, some of you haven't. For those of you who haven't, my name's Will. I've been organising this competition so that it gives you the opportunity to design a project that you would like to be involved in from start to finish, OK? And there were other prizes like rock climbing and things, but the beauty of the project was that, um, you know, the top prize enabled them to actually carry it out. So the winner today, as you know, will win that £1,000 cheque over there. Some of my young people have never seen a £1,000. Some of them have never seen a hundred pounds, so it's, it's a huge amount of money. And it really does give them a, a wow factor to actually know that that's, it's not theirs, but it's, it's sitting there for them. That's a you know, fantastic um, uh, motivation and to just sort of take that away and go and write their idea there and then, you know. We gave them a couple of pointers, a couple of ideas, and away they went. We maybe working with them for about four hours in total. And that's from them coming in with a plan to them then going up and standing up on stage and doing it. They were looking for a thousand pounds from the Dragons to start a week program for unemployed youth say 16 to 25 who are not working a day. The program will run once a week on a Friday between 10 a.m. and 3 p.m. It will be held in Gate 55 in St. Harold, everywhere. The opportunity to win the money, the opportunity to actually deliver the project made it meaningful. It was a project that people could deliver on their own terms, they could design it in whatever way they wanted to effectively, as long as it contributed towards their, their learning and their employability. So, the project you've designed, whoever gets chosen as the preferred winner today, will get to do that project at some time this year, okay? Learning stands for Learning, Achieving, Mothers, Babies and Socialising. Um, we are a group of young mums, um, I help run the group, but the idea that we've come up with is for a little cook's cafe. To help families be healthier and to have an active role in the community. Each week we will have time to share ideas, cooking time for the people in the group, and, social, and a socialising drop-in where the people can come in and have a meal and socialise with other mums and children. The panel was made up of, um, of Gillian um, and then some from Young Scott and some from the Princess Trust. And the idea there was that those, those are organisations that do support projects like this as well. You know? uh, and so you know, they, they know what it's like and they've, and they've kind of seen people initiate ideas, but also they have the resources and, 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 the, and the staff to help support them as well. So whilst other groups may not have won, it allowed people from those organisations, Young Scott Princess Trust, and Edinburgh City Council to, to see some of the other ideas so that if those groups put in funding applications or those groups want to take those ideas forward then you know they've already kind of been made aware of, they've put the ideas together, more opportunities for accessing funding or to carrying out the projects as well. If you can teach children to cook healthily um, and mums that those that will last for generations and generations. Brilliant, thank you very much. <laughs> In community learning and development, we've always had a strand that's about empowering communities, about starting with people's own interests, valuing those interests and working from that. Hi, we're an SQA communications group running at Sandy's Community Centre. Our idea is a group for young women called DCC, Dealing with Diva's which stands for Doing It Vivaciously Locally as Sisters. That's real life learning for work. And it involves literacy and it involves numeracy and communications and, and all, all these other skills as well. And um, but it's led by 
the young people. It will be a fun creative way to explore topics that interest the group, that are relevant and current. Each week will be a different theme and by the end of the course we'll either produce leaflets or a short film as well as a walk. It takes a lot for a person, for a young person that's maybe not had the, you know, had to do that before, coming along to a venue that I should imagine none of them have probably ever been to, to present to a group of 40 other young people, most of whom they've probably never met before, their peers, you know, their, uh, the people are the same age, all looking at them. We'll have creative activities like art, music, dance, and music, to help young women work on their communication skills and help them to make friends and have somewhere to find out who they are, the main thing we'd like is to feel empowered and to feel like they have a voice um, and that their opinion counts. Having the chance to decide as a group, having control, not having somebody telling you what to do um, is, you know, a really good way of learning about democracy. Well, my name is Tomás. I'm from Chile. The most important thing for an immigrant like me is a integration. We will well found uh, to decide what to learn, learn, where to go and what to feel. We want to, to have trips in the city to learn more about the famous places of Edinburgh. If Scottish people come to our tours, they will act at us and we can tell each other about our cultures. It will help us integrate. And guess what? To create the opportunities for people to actually actively make decisions, I think involves effort, involves mm -hmm. resources, and it involves creative ideas, and it, it involves people like the Activity Agreement coaches, who who are the best people for working with young people because they've got the best relationships with them, having the, being given the opportunities to 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 work on what those young people will mm -hmm. respond to. Our project is called Activity Agreement Football Fund Day. This will be a, a one day fan event to be held in a central location. The reason we have chosen football is because it's a team sport, encourages teamwork, and it's an opportunity for other young people from the hubs to come together. You have to really trust people. And if, if that idea is to where, run a tournament for lots of other young people in the city and they can articulate how, how that is important to them and how that will give them skills for employability, then, then that's what you support. Have you thought about um, what type of venue you would need to be able to... A football pitch. A football pitch. <laughs> <laughs> Have you got links? Have you got links? As part of the evaluation of, of the event, Willard made up a questionnaire and um, one of the questions was about you know, how much control did you have at school over your learning and how much control do you have in, in your group now. Everybody answered that question. Not everybody answered all the questions, but that question everybody answered. A really unique selling point is that young people that are going to be teaching younger people the fear are in set design and costume and self-confidence. A lot of things you learn by doing and you know that you've learnt them because you're able to carry it out and practice. We've made like music videos and like um, stuff like that before and there have been loads of people that have signed up and like actually so many that we couldn't even get all everyone in it. We benefit youth both younger and those who are mentoring the younger people here. And we're helping people come out of the bad situations and help it come into something better now. There's not a lot of theatre groups that people can afford to get into as well in this area. The community is going to benefit, obviously, if all the young people are off the street and they're not causing trouble and they're not going to be harassing other people, can then leave sort of a lot of that. Like. And they get something out as well. They get to see us like perform after. We are young people from Grace Mount Hub and we are here to talk about our development, our redevelopment in Grace Mount Mansion Youth Cafe. What is it? Uh, we were a place for people to go in the current area and there's a bit of a problem with people not having anywhere to go resulting in violence, drugs, drinks. Because of the opportunity of using my time and using the funds like this, that it, that it made something like that possible. You know, devolved money mm -hmm. enables devolved decision making. The way that we'll be spending the money is most of it will be put into workshops. Um, we want to go to uh, 
local youth groups with questionnaires to find out what activities they're involved in. They need something to call their own. I know the staff and the adults are there providing the stuff, but these young people need to actually feel their part of it and feel proud when it works or feel upset when it doesn't work, then they're going to learn something for that as well. Our motto is it's time to stand up and realise your potential. We as a team believe there is need for young people's voices to be heard and acted upon. For my group, I would say the motivator was the fact that they're getting to set it up themselves. It was their opportunity and nobody was telling them what they could and what they couldn't say. We believe the young people will benefit from this programme as it is run by young people for young people. It has a focus on their needs and they are able to lead the decision they can and have their opinions and views listened to and acted upon. You talked about people's voices being heard, young people's voices. So if you have the chance now to say what you really think is important, what would it be? Just uh, always have a good attitude, feel completely confident, just remember it's just like a conversation in an interview. What I want you to do is decide, decide as a group. So decide on your first, your favourite, you put number one, your second favourite, number two, third favourite, number three, okay? So there'll be ten in total. The most forget number one, that'll be the winners. The most forget number two, it was fantastic to see the groups present their ideas, to have seven groups from all across the city come together. People could see what was going on in Gate 55 compared to what was happening at the mansion and what was happening in Craig Miller or in Leith or, or wherever. The world is not out there to deliver something to us. You know, it's about people actually being active in that world and being able to change it according to their own values and purposes. Well I know how my young guys felt winning um, but on the other side of things we've been to events before another one and they always come away thinking I'm glad I did that. At least we had to go up and stand in front of people and see how it feels but you know, my guys are over the moon.